building some commands into a Discord bot written in Go. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am a full stack developer and content creator here on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at how you can add subcommands into a Discord bot that is written in Go. This is going to be a direct continuation of the previous entry in the series where we built our first bot in Go, which simply responds with world when you type hello into a Discord channel. If you're interested in this type of content, whether it's software development, specifically in the serverless realm most of the time, <laughs> do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you can be notified whenever new content drops. And let's take a look at the code. So I've got the same project open that we had built in the previous video when we built the Hello World bot. And we're gonna expand upon this bot just a little bit. And the first thing we need to do is add a prefix. Typically when you're building Discord bots, you want some kind of prefix to differentiate your bot's responses from other bots out there. And this is just a string that has some kind of special unique characters or ability to identify it. So let's create a constant right in the top here const uh, prefix string equals, and then we're just gonna make our prefix an exclamation point and then GoBot. Now inside of the message handler, in order to figure out if GoBot was indeed passed along with it, we're gonna parse the actual string that's read into a series of arguments. So I'm going to split the entire message into an array of messages, again, separated by a space character. So I'm gonna initialize a new value of args here, and we're gonna set that to strings.split, and then we're gonna pass in m.content, and then our separator is going to be a space. So let's expand on this just a bit. So we'll say if arg0, the first element array, is not equal to our prefix, then we're just gonna return. So then we're gonna update the hello world command to, to use the second element as the quote unquote command that we're gonna issue to our bot. So I'm gonna change m.content to args1 and then save this. Now let's open the integrated terminal and type in go run dot to run the bot. And then hop over to Discord to see the results of this. Okay, I'm in Discord and you can see the bot's running. Now previously, if we just typed in hello, our bot would respond. So I'm gonna type in hello and hit enter and our bot should not respond and it doesn't. Now if I type in exclamation point go bot and then hello, we should get that response back instead. And then same thing, if I type in anything else like ASDF, our bot's not even gonna try and read it because the command does not start with our prefix. When building Discord bots in this manner, it is typically just a matter of parsing out the text into separate commands and handling them appropriately. Let's create a new subcommand here. I'll say if args one is double equal to proverbs, we're gonna return one of the Go proverbs, which was from a presentation given by a gentleman named Rob Pike uh, back in 2015. I'll link the YouTube video for that below. Um, but the Go Proverbs is simply just a list of best practices, I suppose, from Go at the time. So I'm going to paste those in here. And this is just a slice of strings that contains a list of all of those quote unquote proverbs. And then we're going to select a random one. So I'm going to type selection is going to be equal to rand.int n. And then we'll pass in the length of proverbs. And then finally, let's s.channel message send. And then we'll type in m.channel ID for the ID of the channel we want to send to. And then Proverbs. And then pass in the index, the selection, which is the index of that slice. Click Save. Now you notice the squigglies for Rand was removed. That's because Go imported our math, hyph, math slash RAND library. And let's run this again and see how it works. Okay, so if I type in GoBot, hello, we should get our hello world back. Now if I type in GoBob, GoBot Proverbs, we got a random proverb back. Now let's extend the bot just a bit more and update it so when our bot responds with one of those proverbs, it's displayed inside of an embed. In Discord, an embed is a fancy wrapper around text where you can create uh, these nice little cards that display and have different functionality within Discord. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a new object here called embed. And that's gonna be of type discord go dot embed, sorry, dot message embed. And let's open that and let's set the title of the embed to the same thing we were originally gonna respond, which is Proverbs 
and then pass in our selection to grab one of those things from the map. Now we also want to make this a bit fancier by adding an author to it. Now I had mentioned that the author's name is Rob Pike and the author field of a message embed takes a reference to uh, the type message embed author. So let's go ahead and create that now. Uh, author is gonna be equal to discord go, that message embed author, and we'll set the author's name to Rob Pike. And I'm just gonna set the URL to the HTTPS, the, the URL where these proverbs came from, which is HTTPS colon slash slash go hyphen proverbs dot github dot IO. Save that. And then for our embed, we're going to set the author to a pointer or reference to author. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this channel message send because there's a different function that needs to be used in the situation where you want to send an embed instead of just plain text. So I'll get rid of that and I'll say s dot channel message send embed. If I could spell channel message send embed. And then we're going to pass in the message ID or the channel ID just like we did before. But instead of passing in the text, we're going to pass in a pointer to the embed itself. I'm sorry, a reference to the embed. So I'll click save here. Let's run our bot again. And hop over to Discord and see how it works. OK, so I'm back in Discord and let's run the same command we did earlier. Go bot and then Proverbs. And you can see, instead of just being plain text, we're now responded with this nice little card here. And if I hover over Rob Pike's name here, and I, I could see that there is this is indeed clickable, which will send me to the URL where those Go Proverbs were taken from. You should now be comfortable adding subcommands into a Discord bot that's written in Go. In the next entry in the series, we plan to extend our bot once more to actually ingest information from the user to save it for a database for later use. Again, if you like this kind of content, software development, serverless specifically, do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.